Hey everybody, it's The Love Doctor here, your romance guru from The Daily Wire to help those of you who are struggling in your romantic life to go out there and get the guy or girl of your dreams. Now, I'm, I'm gonna focus here mostly on the fellas trying to get the ladies. The reason I gotta make this video is because there are a lot of people who are giving advice to young men who are having an increasingly difficult time in their romantic lives, and they're giving them kind of bad advice. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. Okay, and so I, as a board certified love physician, have to come in and correct the record. This video is sponsored by Genucel. More from them in a minute. First, let's get started. I saw a video by someone named the Wheat Worker or something. What's the guy's name? Wheat Waffle. And the Wheat Waffle had advice for men. This is the tried and true rationalist system for how to get a chick. Okay, so here's what he had to say. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you should play your cards in dating based on your looks. In other words, depending on which category you fall, you will have a different set of procedures to get the best bang for your buck out of dating. Any blue box is an action you need to take, for example, looks maxing, and any green box is a question you need to ask yourself. The first of which is, are you a sub five, normie, or chad? Okay, and all right. So, he's saying, I'm basing all of this on looks. Hey, I'm not saying looks don't matter. Looks matter a lot, but looks actually are not the most important thing. I even if you want to improve how you look, you shouldn't think first of how you look. You've got to look at something a little deeper. So he opens up with, are you sub five? That kind of one to 10 scale, I assume. Are you a normie or are you a Chad? So I, I've changed this to, are you homely? Are you a normie? You're basically an average to perfectly fine looking person. Or are you a big, you know, giga Chad Adonis? So... Which of those do you fall into? And then this guy, he says, okay, if you're a sub five, can you looks max to normie? And I take by looks max, he means can you hit the gym, get certain, even maybe get cosmetic procedures done? Can you get better clothing? Can you do whatever you got to do, grow beard or something, to, to bump yourself up from the homely category to the normal category? Okay. And then for the Chad, he doesn't need to worry about the looks, Max. Okay. I get rid of that. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, the question you have to ask yourself is, are you virtuous? Now, if you're a normie, the question you've got to ask yourself is, are you virtuous? Okay, and then, and this is where it gets a little confusing. If you were just a cool, hot, giga Chad, the question that you should ask yourself before you start to analyze your dating life is, are you virtuous? So that's gonna be a yes or a no. If you are not virtuous, you should practice virtue. If you are virtuous, we'll get to that in a second. The reason you should begin with this here is not because I'm trying to avoid the issue of looks or the issue of, you know, dieting or going to the gym or anything like that. But if you practice the virtues, you will look max. You will look better. Because let's say you've fallen into the sin of, of gluttony. That's one of your vices. Well, if you practice virtue, you're going to stop being quite so gluttonous and you're going to put the cupcake down. But it's not only going to end, it's not going to end there because you're going to have other things that you think about as well. Are you, I don't know, lustful? Well, if you're really lustful, that's going to screw up your dating life. One, you're probably going to be looking at a bunch of porn and, you know, doing what Woody Allen called having sex with someone you love. And that's not going to make you look good. It's going to make you look terrible. It's going to make you have, a, have your brain melt and it's going to, to cause you to be all like a big weirdo, like a pervert, you know, so you don't want to do that. Start out by virtue maxing. That will fix all of these other problems, not just your looks, but all the rest of you because you're an integrated person. You're not just a facade with like either the chiseled, cool Chad jaw or the, you know, no chin, kind of homely, not doing very well kind of guy. Now, if you're practicing the virtues, okay, then you go to the next level. That's, are you cultured? When I say, are you cultured? I mean, do you know anything about anything? It seems to me that the essential quarrel that the intellectuals have with the free society is that it is almost on a continuing basis plebiscitary. Do you have interests? Do you have hobbies? Are you curious about things? Do you read books? Do you listen to music? If you don't, if you're not cultured, 
Then the next step would be learn things, learn anything. Just pick up any book, pick up a book on ornithology, just anything. I promise you this will be good for you even beyond making you more interesting to women. It will make you more interesting to yourself. Did you know our friends at GenuCell have upgraded their most popular package to feature their top selling deep firming vitamin C serum plus ultra retinol moisturizer with natural retinol alternative. Right now, you can take advantage of this limited time package. Upgrade for 70% off. Why waste time and money to go get work done to your face when you can get GenuCell skincare shipped right to your door? GenuCell's secret is a family recipe for over 20 years that makes it safe for all skin types and perfect for both men and women. Made by a compounding pharmacist in small batches and always safe, cruelty-free, and natural. The founder is great. Coptic Christian from Egypt came here for the American dream. Go to GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT. Letter Y, letter T. Try GenuCell's most popular package for 70% off, featuring both GenuCell's Ultra Retinol and GenuCell's Firming Serum. Get a complimentary Spy Essentials box with every package order, plus free upgrade to priority shipping. GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT. That is GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT. So if you are cultured, then we move on to the next phase. Do you have dating options within your social circle? Now, Mr. Wheat Waffle also raises this question. So it starts out with the chat here. He says, are you looking for a relationship or casual dating? Okay, so first of all, right there, relationship or casual dating, that's another place he's going totally wrong because he's you're not going to virtue max if you're considering just casually dating. That means just hooking up, right? Rather than engaging in a love affair with someone that has an end that is proper and will be conducive to both of your flourishing and you're not just consuming one another for pleasure like you're a couple of hyenas or demons. Hopefully you're interested in love within its proper context. Okay, good. Then you say relationship. Are you interested in casual dating? Casual, are you neurotypical? Neurotypical is one of these new phrases. It just refers to being autistic or not autistic. And it, it says if you're, if you're autistic, then you gotta go to online dating because it means you're, you won't be as socially adept as other people. And if you're, if you're neurotypical, then you should do day and night game and online dating, which is all these little tricks to pick up chicks and then steal their virtue and leave them high and dry. So erase all of that, okay? Then though, he says, if you're looking for a relationship, do you have dating options from within your social circle? And if it's yes, you go to a warm approach. If it's no, you go, do you live in a big city? If the answer is no, it says relocate. Leave your nice community, leave your country, just get out of here. Okay, no. Question is, Do you have dating options within your social circle? If the answer is yes, you get to the question, are you confident? We'll get to that a little bit later. If the answer is no, you don't have dating options within your social circle, then you've got to join social circles that include women that you would like to marry. I know this is mind blowing stuff here, folks. Minds will be blown. It just means, hey, okay, maybe instead of looking for women just in my friends of friends, or you know my sister's friends or something, I'm gonna look for women at a church. I'm gonna go to start going to church. If I get involved in politics, I'll join, I don't know, the Young Republicans or something, or I'll join a bowling league. I don't know, jo- whatever it is, you've got to put your, you're probably not gonna meet a, a lot of women who wanna get married at a, a bowling league. No. But you, you will at church or other places like that. Okay, so then you have to put yourself in those situations. It gets very complicated for this pickup artist guy here because there are so many options. There's, there's no T-loss to what he's doing. There's no point to it. It's just, okay, is it going to titillate you to hook up with a blonde today? Or do you want to get married and have children? You know, there's so many options here. But if you are following that first step, then you're going to recognize that, no, everything has a purpose. And dating has a purpose, which is to get married and have children. Okay. Let's say you do have dating options within your social circle. The question is, are you confident? If the answer is no, and we need to go back up the chart to practice virtue. Gotcha, bitch. If you have improved at anything, you will become more confident. You'll say, I am able to do something. I have some measure of control over my life. Don't try to fake it. There are a lot of pickup artist types who will say, fake it till you make it. No, people smell that out in two seconds. The way to seem confident is to be the thing. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. That's gonna be the best, surest way to get some confidence. So are you confident? You've tried that, you go back through the list again, okay. Yes, you are confident. So here's the next step. This one, this really trips a lot of people up. You need to ask a girl out. You need to go up to a girl and say, hey, you wanna get a drink sometime? Hey, would you like to have dinner? Hey, let's go for a walk. If you do that, you might get rejected. Do you have a six pack? No. Bye. Yeah, sure. You might you might get rejected a bunch, but if you do it sincerely, not in a sketchy way, you might you might be accepted even if you do it in a weird kind of sketchy, dodgy way. But the better is you just go up. Hey, you want to go out? Oh, um, 
No, thank you. No, I've got a boyfriend. Okay, all right. That's fine. It's too bad. Lucky guy. Oh, um, no, I'm not really interested in a relationship right now. Oh, okay, that's true. I sort of am interested, but, you know, okay, that's fine. Listen, you tell me whenever you're interested, you let me know. Doesn't need to be... You know, are you are you going to marry me? It doesn't need to be how many children do you want? It could just be hey, you want to get a, you want to have a cup of coffee? Now you got the girl on the date. Homely guys, normie guys, Chad guys have all gotten married for all of human history. You could do it too if you follow those steps. Now you got the girl on the date. The question then is, do you find this girl more desirable? Obviously, you found the girl desirable before the date. That's why you asked her out. So then the question is, after that date, do you find her more desirable than you did before? Because what that will tell you is you're not just infatuated. You're not just trying to get a wife, get a girlfriend in a generic way, but you really like this particular person because you're going to marry a particular person. You're not going to marry a, a generic figure. The final step is you ask her out again, and then you repeat this step until you either break up or get married. This is kind of the real version of, you know, work on yourself. Just work on yourself. No, it, don't just work on yourself and make yourself feel really good. It's do the things that objectively are good for you and will leave, lead to a flourishing life. And then step by step by step by step by step by step, you get married and you have lots of kids. Happy dating. This magic time.